In today's video, I'm going to be discussing the real reason your rent keeps going up and will likely continue going up. I have all the details and a full explanation right here in the video. Let's get into it and talk about what's going on. All right, now in this video, I am going to be following up to another video that I had out recently where I was talking about fixed rate mortgages and why these payments are going up for millions upon millions of homeowners all across the country and they were told, hey, your payment will never go up for the history of your loan, but yet they're seeing payments going up substantially. In fact, I just got done reading an article about that as well. Somebody saw their, uh, their mortgage payment double as a result of this. That would be a bad, bad, bad situation, okay? But anyway, in this video, I do wanna focus on rents. Why do your rents keep going up? What is the real reason? Is it because of a greedy landlord or is there something more concrete behind the actual reasons behind rents rising. And again, I've seen a number of comments down below and I've had a number of people email me as well saying my rent went up X dollars. And again, fill in X with whatever, $20, $50, $100, $80, whatever it happens to be. Yes, rents are rising and this is impacting everybody. It's impacting all of us. It's impacting renters. It's impacting landlords. It's impacting homeowners. It's impacting everybody in a major, major way. But again, I want to give you the real, real, real explanation behind this and why is this really, really happening? And what is really going beyond behind the scenes here that many of us may not actually realize, okay? It's a weird situation right now. The last few years have been very, very strange, but um, yeah, there is actual uh, reasons behind this, okay? So let me explain the situation here. So think of an apartment building, a house, or whatever it happens to be that somebody is renting, okay? This is operated as a business, okay? So any type of rental, again, apartment, huge, medium, small, a house, literally anything, anything that is rented, it is operated just like a business, okay? What do businesses do? Businesses are for profit. They need to make their margins, right? They are not a charity. Charities are charities, businesses are businesses, and they are for profit, okay? But here's the thing, it's not all about profit profits at the end of the day. I mean, yes, that is also very important, but there's also other factors that go into it, which is when their uh, production costs increase, in other words, when uh, when their, their wholesale prices, in other words, for a business actually increase, that means they need to raise their margins or they need to maintain their margins. In other words, they need to raise their prices to maintain the margins that they're going after, right? My point is, same situation happens with an apartment building, a house, anything that is being rented, it literally does not matter when costs go up on that one given, you know, widget, whatever it happens to be, then the cost to the consumer, the person that is actually, you know, um, consuming or renting that thing, m prices must go up there as well, okay? Let me explain the situation that's going on, okay? What have we seen over the last, call it, gee, I don't know, three or four years or now? Now, the last one, one and a half years or so have been a little bit different, but what did we see basically starting in 2020, basically through, I don't know, 2022, maybe the early part of 2023? What did we see? Rapidly rise valuations in real estate, okay? Apartment buildings going up, houses going up, basically everything real estate has gone up substantially in price. Okay, well, how does that translate into my rent going up? Well, let me explain. Here's what's happening, okay? So even an apartment building, okay? You might not realize this, but yes, this is true. Apartment buildings are also hammered by what's called property taxes, okay? Yes, property taxes are applied to everything, right? It could be a big, huge warehouse. It could be a grocery store. It could be a skyscraper. It could be a little tiny house. It could be an apartment building. It doesn't matter, okay? There are property taxes on everything, okay? So as valuations go up, the county assessor drives around in his little car and he says, hey, that building is now worth a hundred thousand dollars more that house over there is now worth fifty thousand dollars more that skyscraper is now worth ten million dollars more whatever it happens to be right again i'm just giving some round examples here but the assessor goes around and they assess the properties hey property values have gone up therefore what also goes up property taxes. Now, generally property taxes are anywhere between about one and 2% of the valuation of that, you know, of that home okay, or that property, whatever it happens to be, that real property, usually property taxes, again, between about one and 2%, give or take a little bit, depending on uh, locality, the state, the county, a bunch of different factors go into that, but it's usually around that range, a little bit more in some situations, a little bit less in other situations, but around that one to 2% range, uh, give or take a little bit, right? So anyway, 
as property values have gone up, then guess what? The county assessor says, well, I want more of that value, right? The property value went up $100,000. Now they want to raise that in a 1% situation. That'd be another $1,000 on the property taxes. And then again, obviously that's per year, okay? So this is why, okay? So as a landlord, when they get their property tax statement and they see, oh my, now my bank, my lender is going to be asking for more money to go into escrow so they can set it aside to pay the property taxes on the building. Now they, now that's more money coming out of the pocket of the landlord. So now they say, well, now I need to raise rents accordingly to actually make sure that I can cover all of my rents, I can cover my mortgage, I can cover the property taxes, I can cover uh, insurance payments, I can cover all CapEx expenditures. By the way, CapEx is, stands for capital expenditures, like big, large uh, uh, expenses on buildings, houses, whatever, things like this. Make sure to keep the lights on, make sure to keep the AC and the furnace going, right? Again, there's a ton of things that go into this. So this is one of the reasons why that these rents continue to go up is because the landlord keeps getting hit with higher and higher expenses on that property. Now, here's another thing as well. There's so many myths out there that say, oh, landlords, they're all so rich and they have all this money and stuff like this. Do you have any idea how much it costs to operate an apartment building? It's massively expensive, okay? Landlords, they get hammered with, uh, with, um, with fees and costs and all kinds of expenditures all the time, okay? So somebody that owns maybe a, an apartment building, does not have deep pockets like you think they do, okay? <laughs> They're getting hammered from every direction, everybody with their hand out, trying to get some money out of them, okay? It is like, that's the situation. That is a reality of the situation. In a, an apartment building, the landlord is operating an apartment building as a business because that is literally what it is. It is a for-profit business, okay? It's not a charity. There are charities out there. That's not what we're talking about here, right? Charities have a totally, totally different um, kind of um, kind of different business plan, I should say. I don't know. I was trying to figure out the best way to say that. Um, they have a different approach. Charities have a different approach, okay? Any type of business is generally not a charity unless identified as so, okay? But anyway, here's another reason why rents are also going up. What else? What has also been happening across the country over the last couple of years here? Major, major insurance claims because of major natural disasters all across the country. Well, what happens to insurance uh, premiums when there's huge claims all across the country? Insurance providers raise premiums on everybody because they need to get that money back. They need to recoup that money. The hundreds of millions or billions of dollars that they pay out in the in the form of uh, insurance claims, they need to get that money back somehow. How do they do it? They raise they raise premiums on everybody. We've seen premiums on real estate, as in uh, homeowners policies and things like this. We've seen these going up massively over the last couple of years here. In fact, I talked to somebody right here on the channel. He knows who he is. I'm not gonna say his name for privacy reasons, but he reached out to me and said, my homeowner's insurance doubled. Seriously, this is a real thing, okay? He said, reached out to me and said, my insurance pr uh, premium or my insurance policy came up for renewal. They doubled my premium. That's massive, that's nuts. And we're not talking like $100, thousands of dollars in this case, in the case for this guy that reached out to me. That's massive. A lot of people can't afford that. My point is, premiums on insurance are also going up. Well, as a landlord owning an apartment building or a house or whatever it happens to be, as insurance and property taxes continue to rise, that means it's squeezing the margins on that landlord. In other words, every single month, most landlords from the rent that they receive, they don't just pocket this money and go sit on some beach in the Cayman Islands and you know drink cold drinks all day. That's not what they do. They set aside massive amounts of that money for expenditures that they know are coming, right? Oh no, a furnace broke down. I got to replace it. There goes 10 grand. Oh no, an AC unit went down. Now there goes another $5,000 to replace that. Oh, oh no, the roof is leaking. There goes $50,000 to put a new roof on the building, right? So these landlords put this money aside to pay for all this stuff to make sure that the home and uh, the building remains habitable and is still a nice place for somebody to live, right? It's not like they're just taking all this money and just going blowing it and buying Ferraris and Lamborghinis every weekend. Nope, not the case for the vast majority of people. Now, don't get me wrong. There are some landlords out there that make a ton of money and can do things like that. The vast majority of them, not even close, okay? So as premiums rise on, inf um, on insurance and to, uh, property taxes also go up, all of those expenses go back to the landlord, okay? Operating as a business, 
when this happens, it squeezes their margins. They need to raise rents to make sure that they have enough money to set aside for when those big, big expenditures come in. And there you go. This is the reason why um, uh, rents keep going up, okay? I know there's a lot of negative connotation out there, like all oh, these landlords, they're just so greedy trying to get all the money from low income. That is so false. That is so incredibly false. It is not the case whatsoever. It's because of these reasons, okay? Now, don't get me wrong. There's always going to be a bad apple in the bunch. Always, every single time, there always is, okay? There's always somebody out there that makes it look really bad for everybody. But this is the real reason behind, okay? So if your rent goes up, $20, $50, $70, you know, a month or something like that. Honestly, that's probably pretty uh, reasonable. Considering how much uh, insurance premiums have gone up, how much property taxes have gone up the last couple of years here, a $40 increase on rent, in my honest opinion, is probably a bargain. I'm just simply saying, okay, because of how much these things have gone up, Passing that back on to the tenant is um, what they have to do to keep the doors open and the lights on. If they did not raise rents, um, that building is probably going down. I'm just saying, okay, it's probably in a bad situation financially. And that landlord probably has no clue what they're doing because the only way they can keep the doors open and the lights on is by raising rents a little bit each year. Now, here's the thing as well, okay? Maybe I'm you know, a bad person for saying that. If that's what you think, then fine. I don't really care. But my point is, think of what businesses do. What does your phone carrier do every year? What is your, I don't know, what is your, um, I'm just trying to think of another example. What does your internet provider do every year? What does your grocery store ever do, do every year? What does your, um, you know, your, your pet supply store do every year for your pet food and all the pet toys and all that junk that we buy, right? What do they do every year? They raise prices on everything. Is it like 1%, 3%, 5%? We don't really know. It's probably different for everybody, but... All of these retailers do the same thing. <laughs> they raise prices on us. Look at grocery stores over the last couple of years here. What have they done? They've raised prices massively. Why? Because they're for they're for profit. It's a business for profit. As their expenses continue to rise on wholesale, they need to pass that on to the consumer, right? Us, we are the end consumers. Same thing with the rents here, okay? So if you're angry at your landlord for raising your rent, you have just as much right to be angry at your grocery store and your internet for service provider and your cell phone provider and your TV provider and your cable provider and your hairstylist and the person that makes your clothing. You have every right to be mad at them too because they're doing the exact same thing. You only see it, um, you know, you see it much more clearly when your rent, when your landlord sends you a letter and says, hey, I'm sorry, we got to raise your rent to $50, okay? Something like that, right? Anyway, I know this came, uh, became into a, a long-winded explanation here as to why rents are rising, but this is the real reason. And again, I know it's a rough situation, but this is what happens, okay? It's a tough situation, but this is the reality of the situation. Property taxes rising, uh, insurance premiums rising, and that has to be passed on to um, the tenants. Just like every other business passes on expenses to the end consumer, and we are the end consumer. Make sense? Anyway, hope this helps you. If you have not done so yet, please subscribe down below. Totally free to do so. Share the video. There's a share button right down below uh, with your friends on my social media so they can also understand what's going on here. And uh, feel free to check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel, including the ones I've hand-selected for you down below in the description at the top of the comment section or right now popping up on your screen. You'll see some videos there. Enjoy your day. Take care. Have a good one. And 